Cheers everybody, welcome back to another beer review and in this one um, I've got to thank Matthew Barker for sending me this so cheers Matthew for sending me some beers in my hour of need really really appreciate it um, we've got a collaboration uh, between Brew York and Doc Spears and we have a can of their Plum Pastry Sour IPA and it's their Heidi Plum super smashing great, give it a little twist for you I love these Brew York cans, they're great. The only criticism I have with these Brew York cans is that that writing's really, really tiny. Um, it says Plum Pastry Sour IPA. I've noticed... <laughs> I don't know if Matthew's noticed this. I've noticed something on this can. It says 6%. I'll take it 6%. But on the back, it says 8%. <laughs> <laughs> it says, um, I think it's 6%, it's got to be. Um, Heidi Plum is our second collab with the excellent Doc Spears from Grimsby. This time we've dialed the insanity level up to 11 to create a fruity but complex sour RPA. The hops and Nelson Salvin Centennial and Chinook. Malts are pale, malted oats, flaked oats, malted wheat, honey malt, acidulated malt. So quite a big malt build for this um, and um, that's it really um, it's not really giving away anything else it just says may contain nuts so if you've got a nut allergy I wouldn't touch it <laughs> so it's crack so what you do let's see what we get oh yeah sour plum straight away it's definitely sour plum straight straight up the nostril you cannot escape those soured plums. You really can't. So yes, um, the last collab I did with, well, the only other collab between Docks and um, Brew York was the, oh, I can't remember it. It's up there. It's, it's, it's in that cabinet behind me. <laughs> I can't remember what it was now. Summit Explosion. Raspberry. It was a raspberry beer, I think it was. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. I can't remember now. Um, is that it? Is that all of it in? That's all of it in. So there we go. Stig old Heidi Plum there. So beer in a glass, as you can see, it does look like plum juice in a way. If you look at that, very plummy looking, thinning heads, no head to it whatsoever. Um, the aroma, you do get an essence of vanilla in this now with the plum. And you do get an element of lemon as well in the aroma. It's definitely there. It smells really, really nice, you know. I'm going to go in, so cheers, Matthew, mate. Mm. That's nice. There's a lot going on. When you first take a swig of it, there is a hell of a lot going on. <laughs> Bit of an overload with lots of different um, taste notes in this. You get the plum. The plum is the strongest. It's definitely the, the boss of the show. You do get the bitterness of lemon rind. You do get a hint of almond in it. I can pick that almond up. There's a slight herbaceous feel towards the back end. It does that sourness really hits you when you swallow it. Really does. But there is a really fresh zest to this beer. It feels like this beer has got a bit of a spring in its step because of all these vibrant flavours which are hitting your mouth. And it's really, really nice. Um, looking for more vanilla. The vanilla's there, but I think um, I can pick that up more in the aroma. Um, 
And it, it's, it's, it's a kind of weird combination because when you first drink it, you do just slightly get a hint of sweetness just hitting you. It develops in, into this lemon wine bitterness, then transforms into the plum. And you get the almond towards the back end for me. It's really, really nice. It's unique. It's different. It's different. It, you know, and that's why I like, you know, when you, when you look at, you know, these different collaborations and that, you know, you, you look for something different in a beer and this has certainly got a big different feel to it. Um, and because there's so much going on, I could very much enjoy, you know, a good, good two two or three of these because there's a lot going on in the flavors it's it's not messy it's just like everything's got its place but you're just picking up all these different elements to this beer now I can, I can pick up a little bit of gooseberry in it as well a little bit of lime there as well it's really really good it's really good one more for the road That is a smashing beer, smashing stuff. Boys and girls, Boo Yorks and Dogs Beers, highly plum. Highly, highly, highly recommend you to try that up. It's different, it's nice. You can't go wrong with that. Thank you very much for joining me for this beer review. As ever, stay safe, um, look after yourselves, and I shall see you tomorrow with another one. So cheers, everyone.